have done a worldwide survey of 44 countries, hundreds and hundreds of diabetes centers throughout the world, 13,000 subjects who inject insulin. Based on that, the findings of that survey, debate the issues and to come out with recommendations that will be practical and relevant everywhere. FITA means to me a fantastic chance to share my new experiences with colleagues from all over the world. FITTER will be addressing insulin injection, insulin infusion, and the safe delivery of insulin for both patients and healthcare workers. When Keith was actually referred to me, um, it had quite a nasty experience with hypoglycemia. After I'd explained the impact that poor injection technique and lipohypertrophy can have on somebody's glucose control, then he was happy to let me examine the sites. When Debbie discovered my lipos, I had no idea what they were, knew nothing about them. With the knowledge I now have, I believe every person with type 1 diabetes should be trained in injection techniques, should be made aware of lipohypertrophy and what lipos can do. Healthcare professionals concentrate on the injection, but don't look at how to inject. And really at FITTER, we're going to look at how to inject to enhance that insulin infusion or insulin injection therapy. At a recent educational meeting, I heard about Peter, who is a 50-year-old man, who was having frequent and unexplained hypos. He'd had a hypo whilst he was up on scaffolding, and it had, it had frightened him so badly that he'd stopped working. So with the right uh, management and instruction and education, he was told to rotate, he was changed to four millimeter needles, and was taught about the right site and the right time for his injections. After two weeks, when he was reviewed again, his, hype, his hypos had literally completely stopped. His um, insulin had reduced and his confidence to go out had really, really improved. And he'd come with his wife and, and his wife said that for the first time in months, Peter was smiling. And this is why injection technique and fitter is so important. The clinical case that's very important to me and, and always makes me reflect on how I practice clinically. He was a farmer locally and he had had terrible problems with his glycemic control. So on one occasion uh, he was admitted to hospital following a collapse in the field. He had fallen off his tractor and I went to see him as an inpatient and he lost all faith in me really. And this for me was uh, a a absolutely heartbreaking that I couldn't help him. But what I didn't know then was how important managing injection technique was for patients and how injection technique could prevent the formation of lipo. Fitter is really important for patients, the end users of insulin and other injectable therapies for diabetes. We will now tailor new recommendations that address the gaps, address the, the, the issues that, that patients have. And then our goal is to extend those recommendations on a worldwide level and to have a reach into the most remote areas of diabetes care throughout the world. That's our goal.